Ooh, what is up guys, and of course as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle, which is really the Scarender. And uh, yeah, before we go into the game, I do want to just say that hopefully we'll have some more Wi-Fi battles coming up. And I do encourage you guys, if you want to battle me, to join the Discord group that is down below, but also follow me on Twitter and of course here on YouTube to, well, set something up. Because I really, really are looking for key time periods for Wi-Fi battles to be able to upload. I've tried to upload most of the games I'll actually have, even if I win or lose. I don't necessarily care if I lose, as long as the match itself is entertaining. So, yeah, because I really, really love struggling with the time schedule, of course, with my newborn daughter and whatnot, to try to, you know, get this going. I really want to actually try that myself to, to, to the way it's possible to work with, of course. I try to upload at least two regular Wi-Fi battles and, of course, who was really better episode and possibly a league battle in between. So, with that said, we're going against Miltos in an RU Wi-Fi battle. And we'll see for Alligator, Houndoom, Billy Noon, um, John Mega, Donphan, and the Gudra. So, um, definitely a bulkier team with a few key, I would say, sweepers with Lenoon and uh, John Mega really standing out for Alligator, always a threat, though it is manageable to some extent. I myself is using offensive stealth rock Nido Queen, Comfy, because Comfy is actually really good against Lenoon specifically, because it outspeeds them with the triage ability. Uh, Mega Glalie, uh, Assault Vest, Scavalier, or Scavalier, uh, Dragon Dance, Tyrantrum, the standard one with Rock MC, and Espeon here basically to be able to have some kind of hazard removal, though I do have Defog on Comfy. So, with that said, I felt Nato Queen was my strongest lead in case he lead up with his Dawn Plans. So with that said, let's go into the match. So, from the get go, my opponent leads off with his Fur Alligator. Now, that's quite right because I felt that he's definitely going to go for Dragon Dance or anything else. I can easily go for a Sludge Wave, as I do outspeed, which I felt was really weird, but it only means that he's definitely adamant and not jolly. But not only that, he goes directly for the Liquidation, which is going to KO my Nido Queen, so that's kind of bad. No self rock on my side whatsoever. Now, I'm going to lead with or bring my Comfy, because Strange will force him out, or at least KO him, since, of course, go with plus two in my offensive move. But it brings John Mega. I can't do anything against John Mega, so I actually need to switch out. Well, I could set up and possibly win the matchup. I won't risk that. I don't feel I need to right now. So I'm going to bring my Scavald here as my opponent actually do a really strong double through Dawn Fan. So that is scary. Uh, definitely really scary. And I felt that right. He's going to go for his safe Stealth Rocks here. So I can bring in my Espeon. But no, my opponent Miltos is definitely in my head as he goes for a knockoff here. Really getting the place right. And uh, I lose my choice space, which is really tough because really, really needed a damage output. So with that said, I predict him to switch out. So I'm gonna bring my uh, um, my Glalie as he brings in the Gudra. Okay, all right, I can safely go for spikes here. He's not gonna risk the Gudra directly. And basically, I'm in a good spot as it brings the for Alligator. Now, since we know it was adamant, or at least not the speedy, he could possibly carry Aqua Jet. But with this in mind, I'm definitely gonna not gonna win to. Uh, uh, switch into something because it still does a lot of damage no matter what. So I'm safer go for an earthquake as we see that it doesn't have awkward yet, which is good. Probably liquidation, you know, ice fang and crunch, the usual combo, which covers a lot really. So with that said, we get him out of the way as he brings into John Mega. Now John Mega is a really a big threat for me. While I can outspeed it, I really don't want to risk that at least not right now. As I bring in Durandal, as it goes for Bug Bus, and that's really good. And that's not tinted lens, you guys can see it didn't do anything towards us, and we see the speed boost. And uh, knowing that he's definitely gonna switch out, so we're gonna go for the safe pursuit. So we get the chip damage on John Mega, which is super important because we need every damage we can. As Donphan comes in yet again. And I really don't want to risk anything here. I really was feeling stealth rocks yet again, bringing Ace Espeon just to try to uh, mirror that against him. But no, he goes for the rapid spin KO, and you know, that is disrespect in all regards. But then again, I switch into it. So, rocks or spikes in this case is out of the field. As I bring in the Quora, uh, I can easily go for a Calm Mind here since we know it's fully defensive since I didn't do anything towards it before. Uh, as it brings Lenoon. Now, Linoon here is potentially not faster than me, depending on his set. Uh, I have some speed investment, basically to outspeed the standard Linoon. As I go for Draining Kiss just to get some damage going on, I was hoping I would do more. I didn't. As he goes for Belly Drum, he can fully set up here, and that's not a good thing. Extreme Speed will not KO me from full, but it's whether or not I'm speedier than him at full, uh, as uh, it showcased that yes, we are. 
since Triad brings me to plus two priority, I am actually able to outspeed him. So his extreme speed will not be able to KO and we will be able to win versus the Lenoon, which is really good because I don't believe I could have tackled Lenoon if uh, my, <laughs> my Triad Pokemon, my Comfy, would have fallen. So really, really felt strong about this. Uh, so he's now actually going to bring in, if I remember correctly, his Gudra. And I didn't think about too much about this play. I definitely should have um, waited this out a little bit because I go for Draining Kiss and of course his Assault Vest. I don't do anything here. I mean, we are in a bad spot here. As he goes for Sludge Wave, clearly that will do a lot of damage to us. But we will survive it because Comfy 110 Special Defense, yeah, that's, that, that's more than naturally. He's basically the same level as Gudra, but I can't take another one. So I need to switch out and I'm going to switch to Grimlock in my Tarantrum. Basically, I felt this was my strongest play because Sludge Wave is what he has to continue doing. And I can easily from here on out actually go for my Rockium uh, C because I'm definitely able to outspeed a standard Assault Vest Gudra since I am a jolly nature. But he's actually going to bring in the Roll Fan, the Dawn Fan. And uh, what's bad with this is that, as stated before, we're really already considered and seen that. Um, it is a defensive uh, Dawn and if anything, you know, we don't do necessarily any damage towards it. So, I mean, I am, you know, it's 123 base attack from a Rock UMC head smash. So, it's 100 base power even if it resisted. And it does maybe, maybe 20%. It doesn't do anything. So, with that said, I'm actually going to go for Dragon Dance. I'm predicting him to go for Stealth Frogs, actually. As um, he actually goes for a knockout, predicting me to switch out. Uh, I don't have reason to make Grimlock survive anymore because at plus one, it is potentially the best I got. As I go over Outbreak just to get the damage going on, and still, we're not touching this Pokemon. And he goes with Earthquake KO in my Tarantrum. Really felt bad about my Tarantrum because it didn't do anything this Wife of Bell, and it felt really, really forced out by the Dauphin, which was really scary. But a good thing here is that I can get some recovery on my Quara as I go for the very, very safe Giga Drain here. Uh, I do believe <laughs> that Draining Kiss would have KO, but I didn't want to risk it. And uh, I definitely felt it was definitely going to sack it, as uh, we get a lot of recovery back. So, Quara of the Comfy is it's getting back. He's definitely getting back, as he brings in his Cruzilia. And from this point, I felt that my strongest play was probably to try to get my Glalie in um, somewhat freely, because it does have speed everything in his team, barring that his Houndoom is Scarfed or whatnot. Uh, so it goes for Fire Blast, easily gonna KO, it's four times effective, I mean, what can you do, even with Soul Fist, yeah, it's still gonna go. As I bring Ash Guard in, Double Edge is definitely going to KO the Cresselia, and yeah, I really needed that. Definitely ruining a Gudra, because the Cresselia is a Gudra. Uh, so his switching after this was Houndoom, so I'm fearing, dude, don't be Scarfed, definitely don't be Scarfed, and luckily for us, it isn't, so we were able to outspeed, Earthquake easily gonna KO, but he do carry the Focus Sash, and I felt, oh shit, alright, well, let's see what he goes for, he goes with Counter, so, that's cool, that's definitely, I did not expect that, <laughs> so, luckily though, Quora is faster, since it was a triage, I don't need to worry about Sucker Punch, so we get that easy recovery going on there, but it's whether or not my residual damage on the John Mega is really enough for me to win this Wipe Bell, because I don't have a Call Mine behind me, I don't necessarily have anything to try to, of course, waver this Pokemon around at all. Uh, so we go for the Raining Kiss, we do a decent chunk, I say, definitely it's, it looks to be in that area, but it goes for Air Slash, of course, and it does roughly 70 on us, uh, somewhere around there, and um, it is, I definitely can't survive another one, is what I'm feeling, so it comes down to last running kiss, and what do you know, Comfy coming through, and actually KO the John Mega, and we win this battle 1-0, and a barely 1-0 at that. But yeah, this was definitely an exciting wife battle, at least from my side. I definitely felt that, you know, if I'm gonna lose, I'll, I'll lose to that counter Houndoom, and I felt fine by that. I definitely felt that Miltos had uh, some really good stuff going on. And you know, for Argue, it's always fun to see this creative set, and definitely that Dawnfan, what a tremendous threat that was. Um, even though it offensively didn't threat me, it was defensively I couldn't touch it, which was something else. Definitely, I'm not accustomed to that, so definitely felt that was really cool to see. And just overall, Miltos, GG if anything, and like I said, had I lost this Wife of Bell, I wouldn't have cared at all. I definitely felt that the sets you were bringing were interesting enough to consider that loss to be very, very, very fair. Uh, so with that said guys, thank you for, as always for watching and of course don't forget to, like I said before, if you want to battle me, um, 
try to get in touch with me of course on twitter or on the discord group down below because i do look for wi-fi battle regularly because i do want to have battle stuff below because i like i said kind of short on time so when i have the time to battle i do want to have an easy time finding them so you know even if you can't battle them at the time at least set something up we'll all figure it out from there so with that guys that's all the thing records watching and uh, yeah i'll see you guys at worst case on sunday and hopefully before that so as all the guys for watching and take care Bye.